Hello guys, my name is Hugo. Today let's talk about archiving footage. When we archive footage, we want to preserve details, resolution, color information for future manipulations if we need it. And we want to save space on our hard drives. I personally like to cut best moments from the footage I have so I can use it in my showreel, stock footage or any other projects. For this task, I like using DaVinci Resolve. Let me show you how I do it. Many cameras shoot in slow-mo, but they don't usually convert to the project settings. For instance, if my Canon C200 uh, shoots in 60fps, I have to manually convert it to 24 or whatever project setting I have, which happens automatically on cameras like RED or ARRI. In DaVinci Resolve, it can be easily adjusted. For instance, I'm gonna create a timeline uh, 24fps, and I'm gonna import footage from uh, Canon C200. And as you can see, all the footage was shot in 60 FPS. And when I do playback, it plays like in real time. But we want this to be slow. So I'm gonna click on clip attributes. And here I can change it to whatever settings I want. So I'm gonna change it to 24 frames per second. And here we go. All the footage we have is now converted to 24 frames per second. So now when you're gonna do playback, it's gonna play slow, like you wanted this to be. Then I put everything to my timeline. So I'm gonna create a timeline. Once I created the timeline, I'm gonna go through the, all the footage I have and I'm gonna pick the best ones. And I'm gonna cut everything that I don't need. Once I cut all the footage, I'm left with about 20 or 30% of the footage and the rest we don't need. So now we go to color tab. For archiving footage, you probably want to export everything in log, so you can color grade it the way you want it by the time you need it. I very often don't like the way I color grade it in past. I look at the footage and thinking like, what I was thinking about when I was doing this. So I prefer to export it in log, so when I need it, I can color grade it the way I like. So once you're ready to deliver, we go to delivery tab, one of the best way to store footage is convert them to ProRes. Most time ProRes HQ will work just well. Depends of course on your source quality. For instance, if you shot footage in uh, 100 megabits per second, I don't see a point in exporting this in the ProRes HQ. You can just export it in H264 and the same uh, 100 megabits per second. But if your footage was shot in RAW or any other containers that consist of lots of information and at least like 10 bit, then yes, definitely go with ProRes HQ. And if you want to get the highest quality you can get, uh, you can export it in ProRes 444, but this is going to be a very heavy file. I find that ProRes HQ works for me the best. In order to export each file from your timeline separately, you need to click here. Once it's exported, you have your files the way you trimmed it and you save lots of space on your hard drives and it makes it all very easy to find a specific moment when you're looking for one. So for Red Owners, I recently found a way how I can trim footage and export it in raw R3D file, which is ideal for me because I can cut off everything that I don't need and keep all the advantages of raw files. Here how you do it. You need the Red Cine Pro software it's a free software. DaVinci is a free software too, with some limitations, but you don't really see those limitations for the task. Going back to DaVinci Resolve, you need to export XML file of your project. You need to export them in a version not higher than 1.4, otherwise Red Cine X Pro won't read it. Once the file is exported, go to Red Cine X Pro, where you're gonna need to import the XML. It allows to locate your files. And here we go, we have a timeline the way we cut this in DaVinci Resolve. And now we can export this in source R3D file but trimmed. To me personally it's the best way to archive footage from RED cameras. And surprisingly, 8K footage shot in compression 12 by 1 weights less than 4K footage in ProRes HQ, which is amazing. So this is it. I hope this information was useful for you. 
click like if you like this video hit on subscribe button if you want to watch more videos like this thank you for your time bye